to and happening today. New York City private and public schools will once again close in neighborhoods seeing an uptick in COVID-19 cases. This comes as the city struggles to enforce mask wearing and social distancing in those areas. CBS 2's John Diaz joins us live from Morrow High School in Midwood, Brooklyn. John. Yeah, good morning to both of you. And just last week, most New York City public school students who actually chose to go back to in-person learning started, but already a second shutdown in nine zip codes. I want to take you right here behind me. Take a look right here. You can see this welcome back sign here in front of this Midwood High School. Now short-lived, this one and hundreds of others across the city. This morning, the doors to hundreds of New York City public and private schools are closed and will remain shut for at least two weeks. The second shutdown is due to a surge in COVID cases in nine zip codes in Brooklyn and Queens. The change has many parents scrambling. I have an appointment, but you know, I have to stay with them now. I cannot leave them. The state is going to take over the enforcement oversight in all the hotspot clusters. Hours after Governor Cuomo made the announcement, teachers could be seen lugging out bags of books to help them go fully remote. <laughs> and last night, the FDNY cut the padlocks and put their own on this Borough Park warehouse, where hours earlier, hundreds packed inside for a children's performance. <laughs> Kids perform close on stage, and while the audience filed out with face coverings, photos inside show many without. Were you concerned at all about the social distancing in there? The warehouse is in one of the COVID clusters. Enforcement was unclear during the hours long show. Though authorities were there, no one attempted to disperse the performance. Police say that's because the event was religious in nature. Everybody had masks. The police came in, they handed out some masks for a few kids that didn't have. The governor says his focus is on schools and mass gatherings, especially at houses of worship. But he may agree to close non essential businesses and restaurants in these hot zones. Now, the mayor is still waiting for the state approval to actually shut down these non-essential businesses in these nine zip codes. If he does get that approval, the shutdowns could start as early as tomorrow. Meanwhile, it is expected that Governor Andrew Cuomo will be meeting with religious leaders later on today within these COVID clusters to discuss everything that's been going on. Of course, we'll keep you updated on all that. But for now, we are live this morning from Midwood, Brooklyn. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. All right, John, thanks very much.